Welcome back to Pop of the Morning Live from New York City. Now, are you spending too much time scrolling through Instagram? Has it given you a bit of a pain in your neck or your back and it's hurting? Well, the chances are you might have tech neck. Now, I didn't know what it was. I've never heard of it myself, but we've got Dr. Doug Willard, also known as just Dr. Doug, who's a chiropractor here in New York City to tell us about tech neck. What is this? So tech neck is our heads weigh about 10 to 11 pounds. Now, oh God, yours funny. might weigh less and oh. maybe <laughs> ours weighs a little bit more, but... We have these bands of muscles that run from the base of your skull really all the way down to the middle of your back. For a woman, that would be the bra line. And those muscles, our head should be sitting on our shoulders. So our yes. ear holes, which has a big name for it, but uh, external auditory meatus is it. That's uh, what I call it. Yeah, that's yeah. what you probably call it. And. Um, they should be over the hinge of the shoulder. Do you remember like the, tin, the Tin Man like in this. Wizard of Oz has a little bolt here? Yes. So the ear hole should be over the shoulder. Okay. And when the head is I'm forward with that 10 pound weight, it pulls all those rubber bands. And like I made this. a high tech model of this with well, rubber gosh. bands and duct tape. But so here's rubber bands and duct tape. And now we move the head forward and the bands go taut. Okay. So with people spending an average of five hours a day on um, social media and they're leaning into monitors and texting, you're pulling on those rubber bands all day and they're gonna to start to shift the bones. Some people get headaches from it. Some people get numbness in the fingers and the hands. Um, over a long period of time, it can wear out our, our discs and maybe even put someone in a position that they might need medical intervention down the line. So oh how do we fix it? Well, the, you would just. <laughs> like, how do we do fix we get our, it? We get the practice? obvious thing would be you would come to me and I would fix it. That would be the obvious but thing. But wait, okay, so but I have a question. Let's say you can't do okay, that. Okay, let's say I can't come to you because I'm terrified of chiropractors. Okay. So, so I'm going to give you a tip. What if I would, hold my phone like this? That would really help. So here, look, so I have like, a pillow. Just like this. Right. Can okay. I grab your pillow? Yeah, yeah, totally. Okay, so like when you're laying in bed. Yeah. And you're texting. Oh, here's my phone so okay. I can demonstrate. So here I am texting. Right. Put pillows on your lap. So your arms are higher. Ah. Or if you're watching on your laptop, yeah. you know, put Stack it up it high. Higher. Right, so now my arms are up. And this okay. wouldn't be so bad. And if I'm using my phone, just keep it eye level right. like this. And so that's your, that's if you're going to do long texting, like a long story of your melodramatic life, you're going to want to use uh, the voice texting would help. Voice so you're not texting. just like... Duh, 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 duh. What's, right. a, what's a recommended time to spend on your phone? Maybe we should just like stop using our phones as much? Maybe. I don't know if I want to do that Never. because do you think anything I possibly could say would make right. someone change their right. monitor habits. If you told me I was getting right. really clear... Well, like maybe. If you told me I was, no, 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 me no, I was no. getting a wrinkly you know, neck yeah. from using my phone, right? You wouldn't do it anymore. If you if you used no uh, less time on the monitor and improved your sex life, your wrinkles, your body weight, those type of things might make a change. But other th or your finances, your pocketbook. Well, but other than that, nothing. Really. I actually hit the streets of New York City. I wanted to find out if other people out there knew what tech neck was, mm -hmm. and this is what people had to say. Have you ever heard of a thing called tech neck? I have not. What do you think tech neck would be? Tech neck? Maybe somebody who hurts their neck by looking down at their phone too much? You're on the money. Your head's down and you're looking at technology. Oh, he's on, he's on the money. Someone who's tech savvy? More, more of a physical feature. If you, someone's got tech neck, oh, what do they have? They kind of slouch. Do people really have tech neck? Definitely. On the subway, I always see people just like sitting and kind of hunched over. Can I ask you how many hours a day you spend on Instagram? Instagram, I would say hopefully under an hour. Your activity? I'm going to be a liar. I'm going to be a liar. She's very good. 18 minutes. Actually, right now, I'm kind of off some social media. I deactivate my, my Facebook and my Instagram. If yeah. I gave you $10, would you join again today? <laughs> Let's see what I got here. Oh no, you, he's gonna, you, he's gonna do Do you take too. Canadian dollars? <laughs> Are you on Instagram? Yes. How many hours a day on Instagram? Uh, hour and a half, maybe. <laughs> do you see the lies in people's faces when they say this? Today looks above average, today. An hour and six minutes today. Are you worried, do you ever like look at your posture and go, oh no, I'm actually starting to get a bit of a hunchback at all? Yeah, I do. Do you do any exercise for it, or yoga or any stretching, massages? Yeah, I do. Do you do that? Nah, I just do like push-ups, that's it, like most all the time. That's, yeah. Do you have a, a push-up challenge? Uh, how many can you do? How many can you do in, let's have a race in 20 seconds, who can do the most? 20 seconds? Yeah. Well, this is nothing to do with tech neck.
I beat you. So there you have it. We all need to spend less time on our phones, shoulders back, so we don't get tech neck. Back to you in the studio, Scott. Oh, thank you, Scott. <laughs> that was a great package there, mate. Well done. So last but not least, can you do any, like, uh, Therapy on us right now. Yeah, really let quickly. me do that right now. So I'm going to come around. So you're going to Andrea, right? No, I can't. Yeah, I'm, really? I'm going to sit okay. on I can't. I can't. Okay. You said no. No, I can't. Uh, I, can't. I can't. I can't. She doesn't stuff. want it. I can't. We so her a may little. I can't. Move your hair out of your way. Yep. Okay. okay. So I'm going to have you slouch down a little bit. You're not going to hear it. No, okay. I don't want to hear yeah. it. You're not going to hear it. And you might punch in close for this, right? Okay. So what I'm feeling right now is C2 is out. So I'm going to tilt your head a little more. There it goes. Oh. That's great. Listen to this. Now listen. Come on, close. Closer, closer. Oh, boom. Dr. Doug, while you keep on cracking, we're going to do an ad break. Thank you so much for coming <laughs> Thank in. Thank you so much, Dr. Doug. Coming up Come after on, the break. More, yeah, try, no. do what you have to do. Coming up after the break, we've got the Real Housewives of Divorce. And you won't <laughs> believe one more, one more. the rate of unsuccessful it. marriages for reality TV's hottest franchise. That's coming up next. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Just tell your head. Tell your head. No, okay. oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. Wow. Thank you for coming in. All right. Thank you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs>